Hey everybody, wanted to share a very useful tool called Handbrake and a script that uh, was shared with me by Aaron Sandon. So if you find this useful, please say thanks Aaron and Aaron or thanks Aaron Sandon below because this was originally kicked off by him uh, to speed things up. So Handbrake is just a way to convert videos that are very large in size to very small in size. Uh, it handles it very fluidly but this hack that Aaron sent me is a way to do it even faster. And if you're in game audio, you know we do video work all the time. We export our examples, we back up our workflows, mockups, we send them to Slack, Discord, Confluence pages, whatever. Uh, you need them really small in size. So this tool, along with Aaron Sandan's cool send to hack, gets all that done very quickly. So I invite you to take the next five to 10 minutes and set this up with me. I deleted it. I'm going to install it fresh and do it all with you to demystify the uh, complexities of it. So without further ado, let's get started. Uh, so Handbrake, just go into your browser, type in Handbrake. It's handbrake.fr and download Handbrake. That's... Uh, the easy part. Uh, you'll also need Handbrake CLI. CLI is the command line version, and that's going to allow us to do things much, much faster. So here we go. Um, now I've got Handbrake and Handbrake CLI. So first I'm going to install Handbrake. Defaults are fine. It doesn't come with any terrible software. No need to create a shortcut. Uh, and now run Handbrake. Fantastic. Um, so there's a few things we have to do. We have to set up a preset. So you can drag in any video file in here, but you have to do this. You just have to drag in a video file to get into these nitty gritty presets. Uh, so I think you need at least two, but you can do three presets. Um, I do one that's a high Discord size, social media size, a small Discord size that if you don't have Nitro works on Discord. Um, it's a little pixelated, but it's it works. And then 1080p, but with high audio. So these are based on presets that are already there. And look, I already have these but I'm, I'm going to make them again. Um, Discord high audio, Discord small high audio, and fast high audio. So this is what you're going to name them. You could call them something else, but you're going to have to change the scripts as well. So first things first, go to fast 1080p3. This is the default. And you'll notice under audio, it's 160. That's the problem. You don't want 160. 160 is not even 192. It's not even 256. We want to do 320. I do 512 because, you know, we can. Uh, and 512 basically sounds like a wave, you know, splitting hairs with me, but whatever. It sounds great. So you have to make a new preset. So click Fast 1080p3, then Save New Preset. Uh, for it, type Fast high audio and this is 1080p 30 but with 512 audio quality you don't need to do that that's just for your own reference later and this is where you change it 512 save everything else is fine i'm gonna overwrite it uh then you're gonna go and and this could be in a few places you could see web social, medium, and small, large, or you could see um, social, small, large. I think it's changed depending on your install. So look for, look for one that says uh, medium five to ten minutes. I bet it says social five ten or Discord Nitro medium five ten. This is the one you want, and you can change it here. It wouldn't matter. Then you're gonna save new preset. This one is Discord High Audio. And you're going to change the audio to 
512. That's right. Save. And this is Discord medium 5 to 10, but with 512 audio. Yes. And I also think you should do Discord small. This is when you have a huge video and you really need to chunk it down in size. Um, the video quality will take a hit, but you're really demonstrating sound and you just have to do it. Um, so sometimes that's required. So again, we're gonna do 512. You should be pretty good at this by now. Discord, small, high audio. Discord small, 480, but with 512 audio. Audio, 512, save, add, overwrite, done. All right, that's the handbrake part of this. You've made your presets. They will show up at the top. If you scroll up there, custom presets. Uh, you can see Discord small, fast high, Discord high audio. So. I could technically be done here. You can drag in the video, hit starting code, but Handbrake only lets you do one at a time and it always default outputs to the video folder, which is a pain because it moves it. You can't append something to the name. You can't control it. And generally I like batch processing these videos. That's where the magic comes in. So part two, the send to folder. Uh, and this is what Aaron shared with me. So again, Aaron send on. Type send to, and you'll see this uh, send to folder on Windows. Now this is just on all your Windows. Uh, if you don't happen to see it, you may have to shift click so you can see the full uh, path here. And there's a Windows hack that always shows send to, so check that. But look at this, uh, everything in the send to folder which is accessed by typing send to into the um, Explorer is accessible by every file. If you right click and hit send to, you can send to applications. You can also send to folders or scripts. And that's what we're going to do. So these are scripts that are batch files. Look at that Aaron send on. What a, what a cool guy. Uh, <laughs> so I'm adding, uh, there's two things you really need to change on this um, and you need to move the CLI. So this is where it gets a little complex. Follow along with me. You need to install this CLI. I'm going to control cut it to somewhere that you're going to reference in this script. Now see, I put it where my handbrake install is, which is a great place to put it. But if you don't know where that is, um, you're going to have to go to handbrake. And I'm going to have to look around, right click properties there, program files, handbrake, handbrake. So let's go to an empty folder. Nope. Whoops. Not the exe. <laughs> Doing it live. So that is what needs to go there. You need to take this EXE and put it somewhere. It actually doesn't matter where it goes, but if you want to follow along with my script, uh, with Aaron's script that I modified, you're going to have to just put it here in the root folder. So now C program files handbrake matches this path and matches where the CLI exists. Um, so I could path copy and put it in there. because it would, but it's the same. Um, program files, handbrake, handbrake, CLI. So this code imports all the presets. It will append something to the file name as it batch does all the videos you drag in. And it will load the CLI from this location and then run those properties on it. Uh, and so that's where it controls the file name, adding the append to it. So I'll copy this in the scripts. Um, you can just do one and make it 
To add it, it's just a .bat file that you put in Send2 right there and save it. And you don't actually need Handbrake Open to do it. So let's test it. I have this, this file here that's very large uh, that I made for some people. And I'm going to use Send2. And I'm going to do fast, uh, small, high audio. Boom. I can do anything else while this is doing this. I'm no longer looking at Handbrake one at a time. I could do 10 files at a time with this. Um, you just right click, do it, let it do its thing while you move on to other tasks. And that's, that's the biggest benefit. Uh, but it's also faster and it appends something to the name so you can batch all of them at once. So all this upfront work, I know it's probably 10 minutes of work, um, but I'm gonna, I'm hoping that this makes it simple because if you spend 10 minutes now, it pays dividends of hours upon hours later in life and just smooths over this thing we do every day in game audio. So I'm realizing I should have picked a smaller video, but we'll, uh, I'll speed this up in a, in an edit, I guess. You'd think I'd have a smaller video. Let me see. Maybe I have a smaller video. Oh, I sure do. Nice. Well, I'm going to let that finish so we can see the file size. Not sure if you can do two at a time. I guess I can try. I never actually tried. Yeah, look at that. So you can do multiple batches at a time and it's fine. You can't do that with the other handbrake. And here we are with the original and the small version. And the original is nine megs and this is 267 kilobytes. So that's amazing for one and for two it sounds just as good like sounds basically like a wave file so it's high resolution audio low resolution video which is amazing uh, i can also do send to so i did small audio let's do high and let's do i think i did fast high audio which is fast 1080p so that'll be the highest file size. So yeah, 834, 267, 500. So tons of compression down from nine megs. This other one over here is going to really demonstrate it. But there's your three presets. They're all high resolution audio. They're all the same name as the file in the same folder just by right clicking using send to and ready to go. So 20 megs down from 783 megabytes to 20 megabytes. Uh, that's amazing. So if you have any questions on this, please write. Uh, I will place the code down below in the comments that you can just put into a .bat file. It's technically just a text file, just ended in .bat. You know, it's just code. And as long as you install Handbrake, then install CLI, put it in Program Files Handbrake, uh, then the path will be correct and it will append to the presets as long as you name the presets what I name the presets. Now, where it fails is if you don't have the path to CLI correct and if you don't have the same presets names that I do, in which case you'll have to change them in that script so it knows which preset it's loading. Uh, so just be careful about that. I'll go ahead and open it up so you can see that one more time. So this, this is what controls the file name append, and that's this portion. This is what the preset it's going to use to encode your video. 
uh, to make it smaller. So this has to match your handbrake presets that you create, your custom presets. Um, so in this little portion imports those presets. So you try that first. Uh, if that doesn't work, yeah, leave a comment. Maybe I can help you out and figure out what's going wrong. Oh, one other thing that went wrong. If you have a mismatch in your handbrakes, uh, you may need to reinstall both because there's a compatibility handshake somewhere. I once had a newer handbrake and an old CLI or vice versa, and it wouldn't work because it expected handbrake 1.6.1 or whatever. So try to get the latest handbrake, latest CLI, and then go through all this. And so, yeah, this was only 15 minutes, but it's going to save you hours. Uh, hope you enjoy it and leave a comment. Thanks for coming by.